Hello, everybody. I'm Ray Nod. This is my beautiful wife. Tracy. Baby, love you. Better get it together. <laughs> I was going to say Fred. Oh, no, no. Oh, come out in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord. Come out. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Come on now. Come All on right. now. Well, get hello, to, everybody. Get yeah, our scripture today is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. And it says this. I call heaven and earth to record this oh. day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Mm. That's from the King James Bible. There we go. And I'm Deuteronomy 30, 19 out of the Amplified Classic. And it says, I call heaven and earth to witness this day against mm. you that, excuse me, I have set before you life and death, the blessings and the curses. Therefore, choose life that you and your descendants may live. Mine's pretty close to yours. Yeah, it is. Much but I, I, I love what he says, the witness. Hmm? Heaven and earth is being the witness. He said to work it. I'm calling heaven and earth to work it. Mm. That word work it is not like, 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 like uh, in, in, in court. Mm. You're in court and this is on the record. Oh. Like, you know, they say, okay, mm -hmm. off the record. Mm -hmm. This is on the record. Right. God is, and then God says, you choose. I set before you life and death, mm -hmm. blessing, blessing and, and cursing. cursing. And then I love God. He tells you, he gives you the answer to the right. test. Choose life. Mm. He, it's like a warning. He, he's, he's not only warning us, but he's telling us, choose life. Well, why, did that, why did he want us to choose life? He says, so that both you and, and your descendants, and mine's your descendants, his descendants, what does your say? May live. Your seed. Your seed. Which so, is your descendants. Yeah, my kids. And, and you think, we, we early in the week, we was talking about how the word of God. Mm -hmm. Is alive and powerful. Mm -hmm. Like two edges. If we would just stay in line with this word, right? If we stay in line, man, this Bible from front to back, we stay in line with this word. Mm -hmm. It is going to give not only life for you and I, but for our descendants. Well, and we also said study to show yourself approved unto God. Yes. So. Oh, how you said that? God unto God. Oh, glory. God. Okay. God. That's the holy time. Yes. Oh. Oh. It, but my thing is, is that are we truly studying? I mean, you know, for me now, I have made um, on my phone, I'm doing um, the Bible in a year. Okay. And so I'm listening to it. And there's a lot of times that I'll play it at night to help me sleep or whatever. And I'll catch it. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll turn my, my scriptures on again. Because I do. I mean, it's not truly getting my Bible out and studying it. But I know that it's still getting inside me. Oh yeah, that that word. Remember what we said? We went over to my uh, my son. Yep. Our son. We said we listened to the word the whole time. Yeah, but but when I talked to him one time, one time I said to my son Joshua, I said, "Man, we was over there with the girls. I think it was in the summertime. They was mm. in the pool and stuff. And I was just sitting there looking at them, and I thought, you know, you think sometimes to give your grandkids what you mm. give your kids. Mm. And all of a sudden, it was like this word of the Lord just just spoke to me and said, the greatest gift you could ever give them mm -hmm. is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I, and that's stuck with me. Right. The greatest thing I could ever give to my children mm -hmm. and my grandchildren mm -hmm. is the word of God. I can present this Bible to them mm -hmm. and say, if you would live your life, mm -hmm. followers in this Bible, mm -hmm. you will have a life not just good or mm -hmm. super good. Gooder. You will have a and life greater. more abundantly mm -hmm than you could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. But you have to choose. And that's why God, that's why I, I tell another reason why I serve the Lord, honey, is because the Bible said he would bless my seed for a mm. thousand generations. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I've run good. hard after God because I say, hey, God, remember, we have a covenant. Mm. You told me if I serve you, I live for you, you will bless me for a thousand generations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and and we live a way, we live in a way, I tell people, I live my life in a way so if my children, not only my children, but my grandchildren, mm -hmm. my great-grandchildren, if they want to know how to live, they want to know how to love, they want to know how to give, mm -hmm. they want to know how to treat up, all you got to do is watch grandpa. Mm -hmm. Watch mm -hmm. grandpa. Not being Amen. arrogant. Or, why? Because I chose life. I choose life. I Amen. choose to live according to this word. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. You had anything else you want to add? Nope. I'm good. 
You good? Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I chose you too. Oh, well, thanks, man. Because we live this life together. Mm -hmm. So me and you together, our children see what a marriage should look like. Amen. Well, they know what it that. is Come to on, be bro. a love girl. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, Hallelujah. Your well, look. I, 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 <laughs> my ring hurt. Okay, let's do it with this hand. Pow. All right. Well, look, we love you guys, really. And uh, we appreciate you. But today, make sure you choose life. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Hallelujah.